accuracy of teaching is what produces disciples that can raise others. Accuracy of teaching is what produces bold boldness to raise other disciples. So accuracy of teaching is what produces bold disciples that can raise others. So if you are to become a disciple, you must be well taught the doctrine. Undiluted doctrine. Every shepherd or every pastor has an assignment to feed the flock a balanced diet. And what's the diet? The word. Not drama. Not music organization. No. I told you when I began, there's nothing like music ministers. Where do you find it in the Bible? Who ordained it? You ordained it yourself. You are calling it yourself. That's why all you can do is drama. Impactless drama. I'm not downplaying the thing. I'm just showing you. You go, you jump, you jump, you jump, you jump, you jump. You go home and you realize he has not done anything yet. How you came is how you have gone home. The only thing you have gone back home is an headache and tiredness. If you didn't hear what I said, who are, who are gospel singers, rewind this. It will tell you from the beginning. Write this down. The mission of the church is not to raise millionaires. The mission of the church is not also to heal people. The mission of the church is not to dispense business ideas. The mission of the church is not to connect you with your spouse. The mission of the church is not for business ideas. The mission or rather the primary mission of the church is raising disciples through the revealed word of Christ. That's the only sole mission. Every time you put on your clothes to go to church or to come to a service, the only thing that should be at the back of your mind is Christ will be taught today. Christ will be revealed today. So you come to church so that knowledge of Christ is revealed to you. If you come to church with anything else apart from that, the life as a Christian might be difficult. And especially in a church like ours. Anything outside teaching Christ is extracurriculum activity. And that one can be performed outside there. You don't need it inside church. Every pastor that holds this microphone, he should only dispense Christ. Are we together? Nothing else. Whether he is a mathematics professor, whether he is a doctor, put your doctor aside. Give us Christ. If you need doctor, go to the hospitals. There are many. There are plenty. If you want business ideas, there are universities and colleges that can dispense that knowledge to you. You don't need a pastor. If you all you are looking for is to know your future, there are palm readers everywhere. In fact, if you look at all the posts around the roads, Utaona Dr. Iwa, Dr. Iwa, Dr. Iwa, go look for them. If you are looking for somebody to tell how your future is, look for soothsayers and palm readers. They will tell you your future. Are we together? You don't need a pastor. Uh, because the JD, the job description of a pastor is to dispense Christ to everyone that is listening to them. The pulpit is for dispensing the knowledge of Christ. Please write that one very boldly. The pulpit is for dispensing the knowledge of Christ. We dispense Christ. A water dispenser cannot be used to dispense coffee. Did you hear me? A water dispenser cannot be used for dispensing coffee. The day you turn it to dispense coffee, <laughs> you will cry. 
you will cry. There are machines built for that. Because the confusion we see today in, is, as a, is, a, is as a result of puppets that are dispensing contrary product. If someone stands here and they are teaching you about elegy, the doctrine of hell, or demology, the doctrine of demons, are you planning to meet with the demons? Are you planning to, go, to visit hell? Don't teach me what I'm not planning. I'm not planning to go to South Africa. I'm, I'm, I'm heading to USA. Teach me about USA. That is what I want to know. Teach me about where I will end after this life. Don't teach me what already maybe I'm going through. People are going through hell here now. <laughs> and you come to heart how you, came, how you are in hell. And how you saw the departments of fires. The one that is burning very hot. The one that is reserved for adulterers. The one that is reserved for thieves. The one that you yourself, we need to investigate you. Because if you went to hell, it means already we know where you will end. Better even the liars that lie, they went to heaven. Better them, they lie. I say, better the liars. If anybody ever stands be before you, brrr, I was in heaven. Also, you do the same. Brrr, you lie. Did you hear me? Tell them you lie. It's just like what we used to say those days. When we were looking for who to marry, people would come and say, brother, Let's check. Mama me, they never came. I'm just using an example of somebody. Zekelepata. Brother. Hey, shatala, brother. The spirit says you are my husband. Ha. If they did, if they did come to me, I would have also done the same. Rakondo zopalia. Rimbo tozoka. Sister, the spirit says you are lying. The Holy Spirit, the day you will understand, I will be teaching on that. What is the role of the Holy Spirit? Because the Holy Spirit has been used, he has been called into marketplace where he has more business. Kade brato shakata. Our puppet will not be used to dispense contrary food. It will only dispense Christ. Only Christ and him alone. Until he appears. So if you hate studying the Bible, please, this is not your church. <laughs> With all honesty, this cannot be your church. If you hate revelational knowledge, this cannot be your church. But if you are excited to know God, ah, get ready. I told you today it will be more of a just, just an introduction. No, whereby you are told today God is good. Then tomorrow God is bad. Which, what, what are you doing? A good God that is mixed with badness. The same God that says, I hate any mixture. From the garden of Eden, he began to show it. The tree that carries good and evil don't have anything to do with it. And he came to the world and he says, there can never be a stream of water dispensing both sweet and salty water. Then in Revelation, he says, you are neither hot, you are neither cold, you are lukewarm, I will spill you out. How can there be a mix inside of him? How can he be hating what he is? Are you getting me? So there is no mix with God. There is no mix with God. There are people that have been told how God is angry with them. So every time they pray, they don't have a right standing with God. They can't pray to their father freely because they have been told God has a record of your past, has a record of your sins. God has a record of what you did when you are young. What kind of a God is that? That carries everything I did from the womb. I told you some of you are kicking your mothers when you are inside the womb. 